folks, hope you're well. Right, uh, on the racing front, just a couple of things I've noticed over the last 24 hours that I thought may be worth a mention. Um, I mentioned them to you. If you're interested, great. If not, no problem at all. Seen something today on my uh, the live feed on YouTube whilst I was watching or waiting for racing to start. I was picking some horses myself, although I wasn't even in the mood for it. Not feeling great at the moment. But I'm flicking through the paper there and I've got YouTube on and I've watched one of the tipsters. Um, probably in preparation for Monday when the uh, Scores on the Doors section features again on the channel. Um, and then something came on again with Mark Prescott. I mentioned him about oh, two, three weeks ago now, three, four weeks ago. So I'd seen something on him that was worth a watch. It was his tour of Newmarket. You may have seen it before. It's been on there for four or five years now. I actually seen it about 18 months ago and loved it. Uh, but I gave it more time today. I actually stopped what I was doing and watched the thing. It's about 50 minutes long. If you've not seen it, folks, watch it. It's absolutely fascinating. It really is. He's showing you all the gallop, gallops, uh, you know, Warren Hill and all that. He's showing you everything. The straight gallops, the round gallops, the whole shooting match. He's showing you into the various conference rooms, the betting rooms. He's showing you absolutely everything to do in your market, and it's absolutely brilliant. He's a great orator, he's also market. It's just top-notch. If you've not seen it, go and have a watch of it. It's 50 minutes long. I can assure you, you'll like it. And another couple of things happened to here today. As I'm leaving things running, various things came on. I noticed something. Uh, Dave the Suit came on without me looking for him. Uh, I thought it was nice what he said, a bit heartening what he said. He mentioned something Charlie Winters had done on his channel. Uh, regarding the draw bias at Red Cow and the ground is bad and he was saying to his followers there it's worth having a look at it's a nice piece I think it's nice when uh, the tipsters mention other tipsters it's been done a few times in the past it's always better that than them calling one another um, and the other thing is I noticed it went from there to old Dave there young David at Pegasus and I noticed Dave's piece and I don't think it was today I think it was yesterday it came out but I think it was earlier Sean and, and t today's um, Today's message hadn't come out at that time, and he was saying he was responding to a couple of people who'd uh, messaged in uh, with not the greatest of comments, one especially. And he got a little um, wound up about it and, and whatever else, and he spoke about it. And all I'll say is this, Dave, I mean, look, you've no need to listen to me, mate. You do, do what you want on your channel, it's your channel. Uh, but people were questioning, uh, saying that maybe he was just guessing us as well. I know for a fact that's not what he does. Anyone that's listened to the interview we did on there a few months ago will know that that's not what he does. But also, uh, folk were mentioning his, um, his profit and loss, and how it may be a bit misleading, and how they've not won the money with him that he said they should have won. And he said, that's all down to staking plans. He said, if, if you follow my staking plan, these are the figures. If you're not, then these figures will change. Dave, I don't think you need to tell anybody that, because I think yourself, along with Dave the Suit, uh, Flat Cap Callum, uh, who would the others be? Dave the Suit, Flat Cap Callum, Peter Fillingham for all some call him, and there's another HPH I would imagine. I think all of you are really spot on with your pricings, the way you do things. You settle to the price you give at, and you settle to what's free, freely available when you give a horse. I.e. if you've got one one standout giving nine to one and everyone else is sevens, you take the sevens. And if it goes off of wins and wins at 9 or 10 or 12 to 1, you don't do your profit loss 9, 10 or 12 to 1. You do it at 7s. Um, I think you four, is it four? I think that's how you all do it. I think it's admirable. So I don't think you ever, ever need to defend yourself, Dave. I really, really don't. You know, I think your profit and loss is as good as anybody's out there. It really is. I mean, is the word anal? I think it's not a word I normally use a name, but I think that you're a bit anal about what you do and how you do things. I know you're very much on the ball, so if you say your profit loss one month is 20.6 or whatever you might say, or a six point loss, I would tend to believe you're 100% there. I don't think you need to waste time uh, defending yourself, Dave. You really, really don't. There's some on, uh, on YouTube that need to do that to defend themselves and don't even bother. You're certainly not one of them. Anyway, Scores on the Doors will be back on Monday. Uh, I'll take more of an interest tomorrow and see how folk are doing. I've had a few messages whilst I've been away saying this person's had a winner, that person's had a winner. But collectively, I don't know how they've done. But from Monday, I will. Um, I did also uh, see that Mr. Fillingham, young Peter there, is having a month away because of the changes in ground and going from flat to all weather. Um, so no doubt we're not going to see Peter for a month. But I think he said he's back on, was it October the 1st? I think it was. Can't do that, can it? It's been November the 1st. We're in October now. What are you talking about, you fool? Me, that is not Mr. Fillingham. Um, so, yeah, um, from Monday, the scores of the doors will be back and we'll see how folk do. Uh, and that's it from me. Just a quick, quick message and nothing else.